Hello, this is Pastor Jones wanting to spend about five minutes with you today. Do you know that God helps people that are in desperate need? Now that might be somebody that I'm talking to right now. Because it's not uncommon in life to find ourselves in a, in a time of desperation. It might be something concerning your job. It might be your health. It might be something going on in your family. The bottom line is... It's a time of desperation. A sinking ship. Master, we are perishing. A naked maniac. And seeing Jesus, he cried out, the Bible said with a loud voice. A dying daughter. The father, the Bible tells us, fell at Jesus' feet and began to entreat him. A bleeding woman. She came up from behind him and touched the fringe of of his garment. You know, there's a common thread in every one of those situations. It was the thread of desperation. Every one of those people were in desperate need of the intervention of God in the situation in which they were faced with. All helpless, in grave need of the master's touch. One man said, man's extremity becomes man's, become God's opportunity. It's an opportunity for God to invade your heart and life and do a work that otherwise could have never happened had you not been in that time of desperation. The Gospels are silent, however, about any dramatic life changes among the faceless masses who seem to view Jesus simply as a nice idea. I hope you know he's more than that. To them, observing and being around Christ was something like a spectator sport. Watch, but don't get too involved. That's not just people outside the church that that is referencing to. Unfortunately, that speaks of people that are inside the church today. By contrast, Christ extended his compassion to those souls fortunate enough to have run out of options. Have you, have you arrived there? Have you tried everything, like the woman with the issue of blood who spent every dime she had with every doctor in town, but the Bible said instead of getting better, she grew worse. She ran out of options, but then she heard of Jesus. People like this that we've just read about were at the end of their rope. What's the Bible tell us? The ship made it to shore. The maniac demon-possessed, found healing and peace in the Lord Jesus Christ, and was found at the feet of Jesus, fully clothed and in his right mind. The dying daughter, Jairus' daughter, was restored to full health. The people outside laughed Jesus, laughed at Jesus, but Jesus knew his touch would restore her health, and it did. The woman bleeding, the issue of blood was stopped. Today, if I'm talking to somebody that finds himself in desperation, you're in serious need of the master's touch, the master's healing, the master's helping hand, the master's understanding. My friends, he awaits your cry. He awaits for your hand to be stretched out in his direction. If by faith you'll do that today and appropriate the Lord as your answer, he will bring you from that place of desperation to a place of healing and help and salvation to those that will call on his name. Today I pray you'll do just that. And allow Jesus to have his way. This is Pastor Jones saying, I hope we've said something to you today to pull you from that pit of depression and desperation. God bless.